Welcome to the Tales of Success podcast, a show about Labradors and achieving training success. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Tales of Success podcast with me, Vicky Sharp. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Here in the UK, it is bright sunshine and it's absolutely amazing. So I hope you've got a bit of that weather where you are too. For me, sunshine makes the world seem a much, much better place. It's a happier place. And as summer is approaching, I love the longer sunny days. It's so much nicer for us to wake up to the sun already in the sky and hearing those little birds in the trees outside singing. Although this time of year is my personal favourite, it's also a really tough time for lots of Labrador owners out there, particularly with younger Labradors. And every year we get quite a lot of messages from people wondering why their Labrador has just started waking up really early in the morning and in turn waking everyone else up in the house for no apparent reason. So here in the UK, the mornings are starting to get a lot lighter a lot earlier. And it's now normal for us to have that sun shining through the windows and birds singing in the trees at around about 5 a.m. in the morning. So with that, it's actually no coincidence that those messages have come in asking why the dog is waking up so early. Us humans have got clocks, we've got watchers and we've got alarms that tell us when it is normal and acceptable to get out of bed and start our day. Unfortunately, our Labradors don't have that luxury. They don't have a clock or a watch. They just rely on nature's alarm clock to tell them when it's time to get up. So when your Labrador sees the sunshine coming through the window and hears the birds singing, they're naturally going to assume that the day has just started and they're then keen to crack on with their usual busy, busy routine of eating, playing, exercising and napping. It's pretty tough being a Labrador, right? So this is when a Labrador's frustration probably starts to kick in and they might start to whine, they might start to bark in an attempt to try and wake you up because actually they're wondering why the humans are being lazy. Why are the humans still in bed and they're not up with the rest of the world? So during this podcast, I'm going to give you a few little hints and tips to to prevent that from happening, but also some little tips to encourage them to stay calmer and quieter for longer until you're ready to start the day. And it will also help them transition into learning that daylight doesn't necessarily mean the day has started. So first of all, let's look at how we can prevent early waking taking place in the first instance. The first thing we wanna do is make sure our Labrador's sleeping area is as dark and quiet as possible. And we can do that by covering windows with curtains or blackout blinds. And that simply prevents the sun from shining in and and waking them up. If your dog sleeps in a crate, you can also put a cover over that crate. So a blanket or a towel or a homemade or shop-bought crate cover will work really well. And it's going to stop that light pouring into their crate and waking them up. You're also going to want to make sure that your Labrador is allowed or encouraged to sleep in probably the quietest part of the house. And that's going to mean that they don't get woken up by road noise outside. They don't get woken up by neighbours that are up early or they don't get woken up by the birds singing outside. So if noise is a bit of a problem in the morning and it's waking your dog, you can try playing a little bit of music throughout the night in the background. So if you've got a smart speaker, get them to play a little bit of background noise and it will be on very quietly. But what that will do is it will act as a bit of white noise throughout the night. It will start to mask the noises of that morning bird song. We can also help our Labradors sleep a little bit longer by giving them some different exercise routines before bedtime. So try mixing the routine up a little bit and take your Labrador out for a walk or for some exercise around about an hour before bedtime. This is going to help them use up any energy reserves that they've got and in turn help them sleep for a little bit longer. And also think about what the morning routine is for your dog. When they wake up early in the morning, what have they got to do other than wake you up? So think about do we have items in place for them to play with or to entertain themselves with. So we're making sure that our Labrador has things to do when they wake up early that don't necessarily involve you. So leave them with some suitable chew toys, some food chews and access to water so that they can entertain themselves in your absence. 
So there's some ways that we can prevent the early waking taking place in the first instance. But if your dog has already woken up and they're still going to wake up and they're still going to whine to get your attention, here's some considerations for you. First of all, we need to rule out the need for a toilet break and we need to rule out our dog being in need of medical care or suffering pain or discomfort. So when nature calls, we train our dogs and we want our dogs to tell us before an accident happens. And actually we actively encourage this normally. So if you think that your dog may be whining or barking because they need the toilet, it's time to get yourself out of bed, unfortunately, and you must go to them. Likewise, if we feel that they need any sort of interaction because they're in pain or discomfort, we must always go to them. It's for their own welfare that we do that. So really do encourage you to have a think about toilets and pain as your first consideration. And if that's in play, we must, must get out of bed and go to them. If your dog is consistently waking up and we've already ruled out the need for a toilet and we've ruled out that they might be in pain or discomfort, what we need to start doing is educating them that they've just got to wait a little bit longer each day. So by leaving them for simply a minute or two longer each day and only appearing when your dog is quiet will really help them. So every single day that they wake earlier than you, wait for one moment before you go to them. And this will start to encourage them that waiting a little longer each day is okay. The human still arrives, good stuff still happens, but we're just pushing it back by a minute or two each day. And the key here is to only appear when you hear silence from your dog, even if it's only silent for a matter of seconds while they take a breath. And using that method and with consistency from you, your Labrador will learn that their silence is actually what makes you appear. It's not the barking, it's that moment of silence where the human appears. And when you do eventually get up and you go to your dog, we want to start making it less of an event for your Labrador. And that will help them learn that it's not such a big deal. So in the morning, you can say hello to them, let them go to the toilet, and then actually give it half an hour or so before you really start to interact with them and do lots of exciting things. And that will mean that you appearing is suddenly less exciting. You know, they go to the toilet, they have a little hello, but it's not a crazy moment you appearing, nothing amazing happens. So it's less important for them to get your attention. I would also recommend that you don't feed your dog straight away. Let them start to amuse themselves while you relax, you have a little coffee and you wake yourself up properly. This will encourage them over time to stay nice and calm in the mornings and ensure that they don't make an association with their whining and barking, getting you out of bed to go to the food cupboard and give them their food. And those few little hints and tips if put into practice consistently, we'll start to show you some improvements. Now, it's never going to be an overnight success because we've got nature playing its part here. That bright sunshine is, is a big thing for dogs in the summer months. It's about us slowly transitioning them into this new routine and for them to understand that sunlight pouring through the windows doesn't mean the human's getting up straight away and it doesn't mean exciting stuff is going to happen as soon as the human appears. So by popping all of that into practice, being consistent and giving it time, you will soon start to enjoy a more peaceful morning and your dog will probably start to appreciate a little lion every morning as well. And just to give you a little bit of hope, I've got two older Labradors. They're 12 and just coming up to 15 years old now. It was 10 o'clock this morning where I finally had to wake my older boy up. Um, he likes mornings, he likes to have a little sleep. So early risers are not something that needs to happen throughout their whole life. By using this process, you will very much encourage them to be calm and sleep longer in the mornings. If you've got any more questions around the sleep issue or you're having any specific challenges with sleeping overnight or any issues in relation to this or in fact anything else Labrador, you can reach out to us and catch us at our Instagram account, which is at Tales Success. You can also find us using the same handle on Facebook or you can find us at talesofsuccess.com. If you want to get booked in for a consultation to speak about how our training can help you and your Labrador, wherever you are in the world, we would love to chat to you. But for now, I hope that's been really useful. 
and I will catch you on the next episode to give you some more hints and tips about all things Labrador. Thanks for joining us. We hope that has been useful to you. But from me, all I want to finish off by saying is be caring, be consistent and be your Labrador's best teacher. I'll catch you on the next episode.